بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ہیونگ اے لک ایٹ دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پیتھ ماڈل دا ڈیٹا اینڈ دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک یوز کیلکولیٹ ٹو مینوپولیٹ فلٹرس وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن کریٹ ماڈل کیلکولیشنس بائی یوزنگ ڈیکس ایز پارٹ آف لرننگ ڈیکس دس از پرہیپس دا موسٹ امپارٹنٹ ٹاپک وچ از ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا tax function calculate so in this video and in a few subsequent videos we are going to discuss the various use cases of the tax function calculate and how it is used to manipulate the filters but before i actually dive into the calculate functionality it is important to understand what are filters and what is filter context so let's go to the power bi desktop environment and understand this very important concept so here i am inside the power bi desktop environment so firstly you would be seeing some difference in the appearance of the power bi desktop environment where this these visuals are now on the top menu option so what i have done is that i have installed the latest version or the latest update of the power bi desktop and for that i have gone into the option and settings after i have updated my power bi desktop and then i have gone into the options and settings window here and inside this i have this preview option so inside the preview option i have checked almost all the all the options so there are there are updates to the power bi desktop environment and uh, so i had not updated this for uh, probably a couple of months so it was important to actually do that so that in the new um, with the new updates sometimes these updates are reflected in the exam env environment as well so it is important to understand the changes so that is why i have done this and i strongly recommend that you also do this at your end as well so in the last video we had developed this measure total cost and we had a look at what is the functionality of this total cost and how we have created this and remember we pulled this on the canvas and we have this to total cost uh, measure inside this uh, this visual here so what we are uh, now trying to understand is that we are trying to understand what is the filter context so filter context is directly related to the relationships that we make in the data model the essence of using the star schema and building a star schema is that we allow filters to be applied easily so the the core concept is that we want that our dimension tables should act like as filters and our fact tables should support our calculation so the calculations are going to come from the fact tables and the filtering process is going to come from the dimension tables and using those filters we are able to get results and the phenomena or the process or the concept that actually enables that enables this is called as the filter context so let's try and understand what is the filter context so here i have this visualization where i have this total cost we have seen this window we are going to uh, actually explore this window in more detail in one of the later videos but this is the this is called as the filter pane so here you see that there are three areas filters on this visual filters on this page and filters on all the pages so we are going to just focus on filters on this visual so the visual that is in uh, in consideration or uh, the 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 filters or the filters that we are interested in looking uh, correspond to this particular visual so here we we can see that we have total cost and this is exactly the same which is total cost because this is the visual that has been selected so these are the filters on this visual so now what i am trying what i am going to do is that i am going to go inside my regions table so inside my regions table i have a field which is called sales region so i am going to just drag this sales region here and put it inside the data fields here so as soon as i put this uh, sales region here i am going to see all the different labels or all the different distinct records which are there inside the sales region so let me just go and select one of these so i'm going to select canada west so as soon as i select this canada west you see that there is a change in the value of total cost here let me just go and change another one so if i now select canada west and central west here you can see that i am going to uh, get this prompt that the sales region is coming only from canada west or central west so what is actually happening what is happening here is that there is a filter that 
is being applied on the total cost measure and the filter that is being applied is this is the sales region which is coming from the regions table so right now it is showing me the total cost for canada west and central west so or central west so both are of these filters are contributing so as soon as i change values here you can see that the value of the total cost is changing in the visual as well so how is this thing happening so how is this thing happening we need to understand this so for that i am going into the model view and i am just going to focus here on this part this region table this region table that is there and then we know that the total cost is a measure that we have created using the value of the quantity from transactions data and also the cost coming from the products value so just have a look at these lines right so we have a relationship between regions and stores and then further we have a, re a relationship between stores and the transaction table the transaction data table so once i select sales region here then actually the computation that is being filtered is is now dependent on the the transaction data where the quantity is coming from and the product from where the product cost is coming so what is act actually happening these lines or these relationships are actually allowing the flow of filter so just imagine that the sales region value for whatever value i select so let's assume i select canada west then this value is coming through this these lines and just flowing through these lines and coming to this part and then it is filtering the measure that was created so the essence of this whole concept is that this these relationships are allowing the flow of filters and this phenomena is called as the filter context so let me just go and do a small thing so what i am going to do is that i am going to just delete this relationship i'm just going to delete this relationship this relationship between the region table and the store table so there is no path between the region tables and the store table now i'm going to go back into the report view and here now you can see that the value of total cost is back to the original value which was 711727 and here if i come and apply any filters there is absolutely no effect of any of these filters on this total cost measure why this is happening this is happening because now this path through which the filters were flowing this path no longer exists so let me just rebuild this path so i'm going to connect this region id with this region id here so now i have i'm trying to rebuild this relationship so now the relationship is back and now let me go back to the report view and you can see that again the values are being filtered so what is actually happening the what is the filter context the filter context is nothing but the flow of filters through these relationships so now we are understanding more that why these relationships are important because at the back end the end that is not visible to us the end which is just the power bi engine there these relationships are trying to create some kind of a logic between these tables using the joins and these can be visualized as the flow of filters between the from the dimensions to the facts and why i am saying that these are uh, are flowing from the dimensions this is because of the direction of this relationship this this cross filter direction so remember i said that the cross filter direction is always from the one side to the many side or we always try to keep this uh, like this so this is the concept of filter context that you must be familiar and once you are familiar with this then you understand how the filters actually modify the different calculations the different measures that we make so this is one way of looking at this so we normally call this as external filters on our visual or our or on our calculation now let me explain this through another um and through another example so now i'm going to come here and i'm going to remove this sales region 
and now I'm going to come on this particular visual and I'm going to click here and now I want to bring my sales region field here so I am going to click here on the sales data and let me just bring in my total uh, so let me just bring in my sales region here so I'm going to just click in my sales region here and let me just swap the order of this so I am going to bring in the total cost afterwards so now let me just expand this so now what is actually happening here what is actually happening here is that I have brought the sales region inside this particular visual and now you can see that the results are being filtered based on the value. So now I have the result for Canada West being filtered, Central West being filtered, Mexico Central will be being filtered and so on and so forth. But the same formula which was built for the total cost that formula I haven't changed. So what is actually happening? What is actually happening here is that inside this visual now the filtering is being done inside the visual. So again this is being enabled through the relationships that we created. So even if I go back and just just repeat the same step that I repeated that I am going to delete this relationship. So I'm going to delete this relationship. So that would mean that this regions table has no relationship with the rest of the data model. And if I go back, now you can see that there is no filtering taking place. So there is a complete disconnect between the sales region and the total cost measure. And that is why the same value is being shown across all the all the uh, all the distinct values inside the sales region or all the labels which are available inside the sales region so again this is a this is a manifestation of the filter context and this is very very important the entire functionality of of dax measures actually works on the filter context and these filters allow you to create results create visualization so the concept is that you create your measures and then those measures are recomputed based upon the filter context and what is that context this context could be from inside the visual it could be coming from the filters which are applied from the in, inside the filter pane and later on we are going to see in one of the later videos that even this context is coming from other visuals on the canvas so if we have other visuals on the on the canvas then these visuals also act as filters on one another and those filters actually work on the principle of filter context so just to um, kind of summarize this video that because we are going to have a look at at calculate which is nothing but manipulation which, which does nothing but it manipulates the filters or the filter context so it is important to understand how calculate works and how it actually manipulates the filter context but before that you must know what exactly is the filter context so in the previous video we understood what is the row context and now we had a detailed look at what is the filter context so before i actually close this video let me just make this uh, relationship again and now again you are going to see that once i go back to the report view again these these values are being working so again uh, the total cost uh, measure we have not changed anything all we have done is that we have introduced a new column coming from the sales region because there is a relationship that allows the flow of filters so that is why the filter for canada west for central west all of these are flowing and the values we are getting by filtering of the total cost measure so this is how actually the dax measures work and this is the entire principle of making dax measures and this is how you actually go and build the visualization so if you are able to understand the concept of row context and filter context then rest of the DAX is probably very, very easy and very, very uh, simple to understand. So that was the first video related to uh, Calculate. We did not discuss Calculate in this video. We All we discussed was the filter context. And now we are going to see in the next video how we can use Calculate to manipulate or modify the filter context. So I'll see you in the next video.